Hello guys, it's me MP back with another video. This time it will be a special Megalodon video. In this one I will be debunking the existence of the Black Demon Shark. Enjoy! So, basically, thanks to three documentaries by that idiotic discovery channel called Megalodon, The Monster Shark Lives, Megalodon, The New Evidence, and Shark of Darkness, Wrath of Submarine, this created million of idiots who actually think the Megalodon is still alive to this day. I mean, you can even look at YouTube videos about this shit. But even though these Megalodon mockumentaries only spread this shit, they didn't start it. What actually started it is a tale of giant sharks, and that includes the Black Demon Shark, or in Spanish El Demonio Negro, a supposed cryptid used to popularize the Megalodon is still alive bullshit. The Black Demon is described as an enormous, shadowy black shark, much larger than any known great white shark. Some accounts suggest it's nearly black, possibly even having a very dark or even melanistic, darkly pigmented, coloration. It's often said to resemble a great white but on a truly colossal scale. Its primary alleged territory is the deep waters off Mexico's Baja California Peninsula, especially within the Sea of Cortez. This area is known for its rich marine life and deep, often dark, waters. Origins of the legend the legend has been passed down through generations of Mexican fishermen. Sightings often involve fishing boats or offshore oil rigs encountering an unusually large and dark shark. This shark has been reported to have averaged 9 to 13 meters and grow up to 15 to 18.3 meters long. This is quite a beast, sounding comparable to the Megalodon. Terrified fishermen have refused to go to the sea ever again. They were afraid of the shark for its monstrous size and terrifying appearance. It easily gave people the impression of it being the Great Megalodon, the largest shark the world has ever seen. The terrifying tale of the Black Demon has further been used as evidence that the Megalodon, the largest shark the world has ever seen, may actually still be alive to this day and not be extinct. This is a common argument used to argue the existence of the largest shark ever in this modern day. But there are multiple issues with using it as evidence. In 2009 a show called Monster Quest had experts trying to hunt for the Black Demon. But it failed horrifically. This shows we have no scientific documentation this thing is even real, once again flushing Megalodon is still alive claims down the drain. Also, what's important to remember is that water can actually make things appear much larger than what they actually are, which is something important to take into account. The Black Demon could just be a regular 20-foot large shark that looks three times its actual size. Objects underwater or viewed through water generally appear larger than they are due to the way light bends, refracts, when passing from water to air. This effect is more pronounced when viewed from close proximity to the water's surface. Refraction light travels at different speeds in different mediums, like air and water. When light moves from water to air, it bends, changing the direction it's traveling. Angle of light, this bending of light increases the angle at which light rays from the object enter your eye, making the object appear closer and larger. Diver's mask, while wearing a diver's mask, the effect is slightly less noticeable due to the airspace in the mask, but objects still appear larger than they would in air according to Cielo Brazil. Curved surfaces, curved surfaces like a water drop or the lens of a magnifying glass enhance this effect, causing even greater magnification. Moreover, if you actually pay attention to the black demon shark's characteristics you can see it could actually be a basking shark, a giant but harmless filter-feeding shark. The shark is described as big and black, which does seem to fit a basking shark quite well. They can be pretty dark in color. Another alternative is that it's a whale shark which is very plausible too. Whale sharks are very huge and they can be quite dark too. Their tails are massive as well. This can easily give people the impression of fear when they are completely harmless. Cases of the black demon shark bumping into boats is simply accidental. These are just cases of them accidentally bumping into boats without any intent to harm and we see that in whale sharks often. We have this photo of a whale shark bumping into another whale shark on accident. Also, about whales washing ashore near the black demon's habitat, orcas also overlap with whale sharks and basking sharks in that area, and orcas have a tendency of actively hunting whales. If the black demon was truly real we would be finding giant megalodon teeth intact in some of the whale carcasses too, not just the carcasses themselves. 
This further disproves the Black Demon's existence. And if the Black Demon Shark was truly real we would have known by a long time ago now. If it was actually a gigantic predatory shark it wouldn't be hiding, it would actively be on surface stalking its prey. Megalodon was a surface dweller, not a deep sea dweller. So, in conclusion, with all that said, we can safely come to the conclusion that the black demon shark is not real, just a fairy tale. There is no evidence at all, just eyewitness accounts which aren't reliable at all. It's basically safe to say the black demon shark is 100% a myth and just existing species that got misidentified as a monster. With everything that has officially been said, have peace and have a good day, people. See you all next time.